How to Manifest Anything by Applying Universal Principles Like the Law of Attraction to Your Life. Folks, that's what today's video is about, but it goes a little bit deeper than that. Today we're going to question the very core of what we are endeavoring to manifest so that we can move through a system and a process that will allow us to powerfully experience that in our reality. My name is Ben, welcome to Elevate. Let's jump on into this teaching together. Well, thank you so much for tuning in today, folks. If it's your first time here, I hope you love what you hear and you're blessed by today's message. Now, if you are, why not consider subscribing to the channel? And to all of you who have subscribed recently, who have reached out with kind words and support, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you and I'm thankful for you. Welcome to the Elevate family. Never be afraid to reach out. I love journeying with people. Now, in today's message, I just want to talk to you very briefly about manifesting anything we want. Does that get you excited? Let's just take pause here just for a moment and let's think about the reality of this statement, manifesting anything, anything that you desire. Folks, one of the most interesting and beautiful things about the character of us as humans is our individual and our unique nature. There's not one of us that is the same. Sure, there are character types that define large percentages of society. But when it comes down to our unique desires, our gifts, our skills and abilities, and the things that we dream about, we really want to see come into our life, that's different for every single one of us. And I want to explain to you why and then explain to you why the purpose of an individual dream is actually required before it can manifest. What do I mean by that? I mean this. Have you ever noticed people in life very often have a tendency to latch on to the dreams and ambitions of others? Folks, I used to do a lot of work in the corporate world many, many years ago in big business and it was just phenomenal to me to see year after year after year no matter where I was no matter what I was doing the corporate ladder and the people climbing it those character types were so wrapped up in the dreams of those just above them on the ladder you'd have the young guys coming into business and starting to earn good money perhaps for the first time in their life and they'd see the guys who'd been in this line of work for 10 years. And they've seen what they've been able to amass. The cars they drive, the clothes they wear, the places they go. And they immediately latch onto that and endeavour to live that dream for themselves. They want the Mercedes Benz with the personalised plate. They want the house on the river. They want the invites to the fanciest restaurants in town and the Rolexes as gifts from manufacturers and the corporate bonuses and all these sorts of things. Now, folks, can I tell you, there is nothing wrong with ambition. There is nothing wrong with seeing things in others' lives and aspiring to those too. But, folks, there is something very wrong. When we latch on to the dreams of others and try to apply them, to our lives without an individual or independent thought. Just carefully think about, perhaps just spend a little bit of time being mindful of and look around you, think about the associations you've had in your life because folks, it's so much easier to see these things in others than it is in ourselves, certainly first of all. And have a think about where you have seen people who have been exposed to someone who has some sort of dream and all of a sudden these people want to latch onto it. You know, there are so many multi-level marketing systems around, systems like Amway and the like, that teach dream building. The big part of how they work at their core is motivating the people in their teams with a dream. 
that's wonderful and a dream is there to come true. If you're an original subscriber to the channel, you've heard me say time and again, what purpose is a dream if not to come true? But it must be your dream. It must be in alignment with your beautiful destiny, with your unique soul mission and your purpose in life. Because if you see someone driving down the road in a Porsche and you think, wow, I really want that Porsche. I, I, I wonder what he does to get that money and I'll go and get in that line of work and I, I really want that Porsche. Or you see someone who's just bought a fancy mansion and you really want that. Folks, if you don't question the root of why you want that, if you don't question where that desire has arisen from, Yes, you can manifest the Porsche, you can manifest the mansion, but it may be the ruination of you in the process. It may lead you to nervous breakdown, it may lead you to separation, it may lead you to God knows where. But we must question the root and the integrity of the root of that dream. So I would encourage you to get alone with your thoughts for a while, folks. Think about the dreams you have. Think about all the things that you want to manifest into your world. Is it a beautiful baby you want to hold in your arms? You want to start a family? Or find your soul partner? Do you want the million dollars, the mansion, the Porsche, the Rolls Royce, whatever it might be? Do you want the round the world vacation that lasts for a whole year? Understand there's nothing wrong with those desires. But only when we have discerned where their roots grow from. If they are rooted in a garden of envy, if they are rooted in a garden of people pleasing, or whatever it might be, there will be no joy for you in the process or in the application of the process or in the achievement of that dream. Do you understand that, folks? If this dream is not a dream that serves your soul mission, your higher calling and your purpose in life. It will breed nothing but discontentment and dissatisfaction, even at the realisation of that dream. How many people have you seen, and I know for me, again, getting back to the corporate world, how many people have you seen who have climbed the ladder, who have gone in and said, yes, I see that person who's above me, who's been doing this job for a while, and they've made this money, and they've got this car, and this relationship, and this home. And someone goes and chases those very same things. It becomes a mini-me of that person. And they achieve all of those dreams, but it's never enough. In fact, it has to be more all the time. And there's this complete sense of dissatisfaction at all the wonderful things in their lives. Folks, it is appalling to live amidst the beauty and wonder of dreams fulfilled and yet be stuck in low vibrational energy. The only way to break through that, to see that dream manifest and manifest powerfully into your world is to ensure that it is aligned with your soul mission, your higher purpose. Now, how do you do that? Well, it's very, very simple. Even if you have no idea what your purpose is, even if you have no idea what it is you're here for. You might just be meandering your way through life. Nothing wrong with that, folks. We are all on a journey. Find a dream. If you have a dream, hold on to it. And use visualization as the roadmap that will lead you to the manifestation. Take yourself out of the situation and meditate on the dream. Close your eyes and breathe deeply in a relaxed state and play visions of that dream on the movie screen of your mind. Watch those scenes of you buying that mansion, driving that car, taking that vacation, holding that baby in your arms, whatever it might be, and pay attention to the feelings that you have. When you visualize yourself opening the doors on your new mansion for the first time, how do you feel? Is it a buzz? Is it an excitement? Is it a dream fulfilled? Are you thinking about all the wonderful things that you can do there, the people you can bless? Or while you watch that movie of unlocking that front door of the mansion on your mind, are you seeing all the faults? Are you thinking about all the conversations you need to have with tradesmen who haven't done their job properly? Are you thinking about dramas and problems and costs and furnishing? Or are you thinking about the next bigger mansion and the next better thing? Folks, if there's dissatisfaction there, if there's a need for more, 
then that dream is not a dream that is serving your high life purpose. Dreams manifest when our spirit is content. So find a way to calm your spirit, to bring your spirit into peace and into alignment with your dream. And when you do, when you figure out how to lock in that dream with your destiny, with your purpose, that dream will manifest quickly and powerfully because it becomes a required part of your story going forward. Folks, I believe and declare that your best days are ahead of you. I would encourage you to get alone with your thoughts and to really analyse your dreams, to play them on the movie screen of your mind, to watch them and to analyse the feelings you are feeling while you're watching that movie play on the, on the screen of your mind. Use the feelings as the guide to the manifestation. When you feel in faith, when you feel empowered, when you are constantly excited by that vision, folks, that's a dream of the heart. They're the dreams to manifest and they're the dreams that will manifest. Now I pray that today's short message has blessed you and has encouraged you to know that you can manifest anything with the law of attraction. But you must ensure that the dream serves your life purpose. Reach out to me anytime if I can support you, if you need love in your world or help with anything. I'm here for you, I love you, I'm thankful for you. But for today, that's all. So God bless you beautiful people. I hope to see you tomorrow. Peace.